It's day two of Aero India 2025, and we have been experiencing an enthralling display of innovation by defense companies. On the sidelines of this event, my colleague Sanjeet Manghat caught up with Ashok Atluri of Zen Technologies and Pascal of Thales International about what their companies are planning in the aerospace. Take a look. In addition to anti drone, we have launched something called as the airborne killer drone system. So this is a, actually, a, it's a vertical takeoff. This engine uh, this, uh, takes vertical, so it doesn't need a runway to land. Okay. And then there is a thrust engine that takes it uh, directly. So we can load the loitering munitions here, we can send it. So this is the completely indigenously made system. So this is something that we are unveiling here in, uh, in the... So. How big is the opportunity in the drone system for you? So, you know, so drones have different kind of applications like surveillance, like, you know, these are attack drones. So depending on what kind of uh, usage that you have, but it's a multi-billion dollar opportunity. It's a large market and, you know, armed forces. So to, now the war is shifting completely from, uh, you know, conventional warfare to now drone, drone warfare. The policy of Thales is to work with a number of startups uh, and smaller companies. Uh, we have an open innovation uh, policy, which means that uh, we're happy to involve uh, very innovative technologies coming from others. What matters to our customers is that, uh, uh, well, companies that have a lot of experience and a sufficient size uh, actually can take the responsibility of the delivery of uh, large systems, large and complex systems. Uh, so uh, then what we do to include uh, the maximum level of innovation uh, in these uh, systems.